Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video on this look right here. It is very bold, but that is what I prefer. So if you want to see how to get this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm just going to start by applying the color Noble and I'm going to blend this in my crease as a transition shade. I'm also kind of dragging it out into a more cat eye type shape because that's the shape of the eyeshadow that we're ultimately going for. Now I'm going to be taking the color Hyper Ballad, which is just this teal color, and I'm going to start building this really large cat eye shape, and I'm just using a nice little pencil brush to do so. I'm just going to switch to more of a flat type thin brush to make sure this line is pretty sharp. Now just kind of as a guide, I'm going to be taking the color Muse, which is just a really pretty lavender color, and I'm going to be applying this all over my lid. We can kind of start the process of blending the purple to the teal. Now I'm going to go into the color Dark Wave, and it's just kind of like a navy color. I'm going to deepen up the outer portion of this wing. And then I'm just going to be blending it out. I'm just going to go straight in with black, and this one is black metal. And define the outer portion. We want this to have a nice gradient effect, so I'm concentrating the color on the outermost part of the wing, and then I'm going to be blending it just with the pencil brush with no black on it, and it just has that teal color on it, and we're gonna slowly blend out this black. Okay, now I'm just going to take this Kiko uh, Pigment Loose Shadow. This is in number five. It's kind of like a purple blue duochrome, super pretty. And I'm going to apply this to the lid with a little bit of Fix Plus on my brush just to make it a little more bold. Now you can take whatever light shimmery color you want, um, but I'm just using Ready to Party, which is an extra dimension shadow by MAC. I do believe these still are permanent, um, but this one isn't just... This one's just in the shade Ready to Party. It's a really pretty purpley blue duochrome. And I'm going to layer this on top of the lid. I'm also applying this in the inner corner. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of the color Skulls, which is like a shimmery kind of champagne color and apply this in the center of the lid. and on the inner corner. I'm now gonna take NYX's white liquid liner and create a really dramatic wing that just follows my pre-existing shape. And now I'm just going to apply some CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. Okay, so I almost forgot about the lower lash line, but I'm just going to take Hyper Ballad, which was that teal color, and apply it to the lower half of my lash line, or the outer half 
I guess. And then taking Muse, which was that lilac, and putting it in the inner half of the lower lash line. For liner, I'm just going to tight line with a black. All right, that's it for the eyes. This is the finished eye look. For blush, I'm going to be taking Marc Jacobs, and this is in the color Reckless. It's just kind of like a purple toned pink. I'm using a Royal and Lang Nickel Complexion BMD 185 brush. I love this thing. For highlight, I'm going to be taking Max Mineralized Skin Finish and Perfect Topping. This was limited edition, but it's just a very purple and pink toned highlight. You could always use the MAC Extra Dimensions uh, Ready to Party eyeshadow as a highlight. This is very similar to that. Okay, I'm just going over with Requiem by Kat Von D because I still do not like this color. Okay guys, now that I have layered 8,000 pounds of that liquid lipstick on because I didn't feel like taking off my previous lipstick, this is the finished look. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one.